Ho ho, do I have a good one for you today. Something a little bit different. I've never made an actual glass review video. That's what we're doing today. Imagine a tech review video, but with a heady. I am reviewing my personal piece, my 2020 Crystal Kraken, made by Wicked Glass that I got from Hetty Love. Huge shout to Hetty Love for making this happen. I was able to custom request this piece. He facilitated the making of it. And so when he had his drop through his shop, I was able to secure this Crystal Kraken. One of the biggest pieces I've ever owned. I've owned dozens and dozens of rigs over the years, but this is the biggest and the most heady piece I've ever owned. So I thought this was gonna be a cool video to make for you guys. I've had it for almost two years now, and I'm gonna give you kind of my thoughts and opinions, the pros and cons, my overall review of owning such an epic heady like this. So let's get right into it. And if you do enjoy the video, all the YouTube stuff, like, comment, and subscribe for algorithm. If you want to help me grow my channel, you enjoy what I do here, tell the homies, educate them, let them know, and we're going to get right into it. So starting off with some basic kind of numbers and stuff. Like I said, I got this piece through Hetty Love. Would not have been possible without them. Go check them out. I'll put the link in the description for headylove.com. But kicking off this review now, taking a look, like I said, my 2020 Wicked Glass Crystal Kraken. I have not had many headies. I've had dozens and dozens of rigs, but nothing that compares to being this heady is a piece that I had waited years and years to get. Like most people, I don't buy a lot of headies, so it was a major investment, a major purchase. And I'd like to say I've been following Wicked Glass since the beginning of Instagram, probably like 2012. Some of the first glass blowers I saw were Salt Glass, Banjo, and Wicked Glass. He had this thing called an Insta pipe where he made a pipe and you would send it to a friend. You would use it, you'd take a picture, post it online, and send it to a friend. And the pipe would just continue to travel and travel and you'd see all these cool pictures. And it just really captured me from our from an artistic standpoint and it just really stuck with me and it was one of the reasons that i still love wicked glass to this day such a cool artistic idea the other cool story i have about wicked glass that stands out is when he first was going on an rv trip with him and his two cats this is all watching on social media he said he was gonna get an rv and go on a trip for 420 days blowing glass traveling from one side of the country to the other and surprisingly continued to travel for almost six years. So it was an amazing journey to actually watch through Instagram, through social media, him take those first steps with him and his two cats on this epic journey across the country. So it's just one more element of why I love Wicked Glass and the journey that he has taken and why I am so drawn to his art and what it means to me and just trying to share that insight and Hopefully you can feel that inspiration. This piece retailed for $1,400. It starts at $1,400 for the Crystal Krakens and then the colors start at like $1,800 and they go up from there. It is a 10 mil. And one of the things I like to tell people, I personally always go for 10 mil rigs. I buy 10 millimeter bangers. So if I ever do have a 14 mil rig, I can always take my 10 mil with an adapter and put it into the 14. Now you're also gonna kind of spark a debate between restriction and some people like the more airflow, maybe what size dab you're taking. It just really all depends. But personally, I go for 10 millimeter rigs and I always buy 10 millimeter bangers. So it's like, I'm never, you know, out of luck. Cause back in the day, just always seemed either me or a friend never had the right attachment or the right banger or the right whatever it was just one of those things so i just got accustomed to always just buying 10 mil rigs and 10 mil bangers so if i ever just ran into a 14 and just use an adapter when i first heard about krakens i was told that they were a single hole, hole perk but after closer examination of my crystal kraken there's two holes so i am not sure if that is typical that's just mine but one, another reason I love clear, just being able to get in there and look, but there is a little pig nose, little two hole perk in mine. And it's almost as if it's an inline, the way the 
down, not down stem, the down tentacle goes up into the body and the two hole perk shoots up into the body and it's almost like an inline. The way the top of the head is so bulbous and it kind of bulges out, the water jumps up around and it, it's kind of as if a splash guard. So it's really got some fantastic function. Which brings me to another point. Some people don't take into account art versus function. Art functions differently than scientific glass. So you might get a heady and it you might want it to function a certain way, but when you fill it with water, it doesn't hit the way you thought. Just something that, that you should probably take into consideration if you've never bought a heady or you've never hit one. Sometimes the hit does not reflect the art, which is not a bad thing might not be a good thing it just might be not your preference it just depends i've seen plenty of people online though buy extreme headies i mean extreme headies and then complain that it's garbage so if you're buying a piece for art you're buying it for art if you're buying it for function you better test drive it first truth be told i personally had never hit a kraken but it did not matter to me i knew i was gonna love it i had a personal connection the whole journey, everything Wicked Glass meant to me. So regardless of how it functioned, I knew I was personally going to love it. Just so happens it functions like a boss. But it takes some time to get used to. It is very large. Now, the tentacles themselves are solid. So the body is, the water volume of the rig is very small. It's, a, it's somewhat of a micro rig. But because of the tentacles, it's got one of the bigger footprints so it's one of those things you kind of have to get used to you kind of have to get adjusted to you have to have enough table space to use it that's something that i did not take into consideration so that's one thing i got used to and another cool focus point is the ability to be able to interlock your fingers between the glass that's something that you don't typically get to do with heady glass like this you know you get to hold it it's got a round bottom it's got shaped bottoms but not typical it's not typical that you get to interlock your fingers through glass hold it when you hit it and it is a very unique experience but something to get used to something that also sets wicked glass krakens apart from other heady rigs is the fact that he hot pushes in his signature most artists will sign theirs with a titanium pin they will scratch their signature into a spot on the glass. Some artists choose not to sign their pieces at all, but Wicked Glass presses into his piece his signature is WG. And I think that is so interesting. I can't say that I've seen a lot of artists do that. I've seen artists hot carve into pieces, and another artist that comes to mind that has carved their signature into pieces is Salt Glass. So it's a very legendary technique. Not popular, but it definitely does the mark it definitely lets you know who made the piece gives it almost like a cool manufactured feel but also handmade at the same time my piece came with a wicked glass mood mat as well as one of his new kraken coins so he has an organization and an nft connected to it not exactly sure what it's all about but i know that i'm keeping my coin i'm not selling it i know you can do something with your coins but my, my coin's staying in my collection forever, that's for sure. It's, it's all part of this set. It gives me kind of like sunken treasure vibes. But I know that his organization is a charitable organization that's connected to helping the coral reef and basically revitalizing the ocean and picking up trash. Which also brings me to another point. He is an awesome activist. He is uh, conscious of his environment. He wants to give back. And so he's constantly picking up trash and doing charitable things uh, with his Wicked Glass funds and his organization. So that's something that most artists uh, I don't see take the time to do, whether they do it behind closed doors or not. But it's cool that he takes the time to have an organization, have this fund, and he donates uh, a certain percentage of all of his sales to this organization to clean up the beaches. As well, I thought I would include a function video running some terps through the rig. I am using a campfire slurper that I got from Ruby Pearl Co. As well, running some chem tricks from Cured Extracts through it. And man, oh man, it hits so well 
with the slurper the way the water constricts kind of right around the eyes where the brain's at then it kind of bubbles up it's like a splash guard in a way but I think that is going to pretty much round out the rest of my review for you guys just giving you my thoughts and opinions on owning this incredible heady hopefully you have found some entertainment and some education in this video something that I don't see a lot on YouTube so hopefully you're enjoying it whether you've never bought a heady and you're planning to buy your first or you've bought 200 headies hopefully you found something in this video of value if you enjoyed it let me know down in the comments I will try to do more videos like this in the future I don't have a big collection but maybe I can start bringing in other friends pieces and doing small reviews in this style and format other than that like I said I bought this piece through heady love Huge shout out to the homies making it happen as well. Thank you for the mood mat. Did not realize how bad I needed one right before this review got one out to me. And man, being able to move the piece around from corner to corner, not being constrained to one mood mat to one small spot, huge upgrade. Other than that, guys, like I said, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed my video. Like, comment, and subscribe. But most importantly, never stop evolving.